Hey everybody, today we're talking about sprites. This is a video for absolute Pico 8 noobs, and we're gonna learn about this little built-in function SPR that draws a sprite to the screen. By the way, if you are brand new to Pico 8, I have a free study guide. If you wanna check that out, there's a link in the description. I also have a full Pico 8 course for noobs, a link also in the description. So let's talk about this SPR function here. So what this does is this draws a sprite to the screen, and you have to put this in the right place. In Pico, there are three kind of built-in events that happen, init, update, and draw. And this little SPR, this needs to go in the draw function. And it's also best to put a clear screen before that. Clear screen just gets rid of anything that's drawn to the screen, and then SPR will draw a sprite. But how do we tell it what sprite? How, what, how, what do we, how do we use this thing? Because if we hit save and run, we're just gonna have a little white X in the upper left corner. That's because by default, if you don't type anything in between the parentheses of one of these commands, it just sets everything that should go in there to zero. And if we switch over to our sprite sheet here, the second tab, our first sprite, sprite zero, is this little white X. And it's going to draw it at zero, zero coordinate on the screen, which is the upper left-hand corner. So let's tell it to do something else. The first thing let's do is just make a different sprite. And so let's go to sprite one and let's make a little spaceship or something here. Hmm. Okay, great, there we go, <laughs> that's the world's best spaceship. And this drawing is in sprite one. So we can switch back over to our code here and let's just type one for SPR one, save run. And now we have our little ship in the upper left-hand corner here. So putting this number inside of this sprite command here is called giving it an argument. An argument is a number or variable that you put in between these parentheses to tell this little function exactly how to do its job. And these arguments always go in order and they're always in a list like this, you know, so it might be one comma two comma three comma four, right? And depending on the order of the things you put in there, they mean different things. So let's just take a look at the order of stuff. I'll just leave this with one. So the first argument is the sprite number. The second one is the X coordinate. Third one is the Y coordinate. Fourth is the width of the sprite. Fifth is the height of the sprite. And then we have flip X and then flip Y. So that's the order of things. And so if you want to tell this sprite to be flipped on X, you have to write all the other ones out first. So if we use this as our template, we can really just kind of fill this in. In fact, I'll just hit copy and paste down here. And if I run this right now, it's gonna go crazy because it thinks that these are all variables and it's gonna say, what are you doing? See, so save run, it goes, ah, we gotta replace these with the right values. So let's say sprite one X, let's say 63, which is about in the middle of the screen. Y we will do 63 as well. Width, we're just gonna do one tile. So these are width and height and tiles. So width is one tile, height is one tile. Flip X, this is either true or false. And the default is false. And so if I don't wanna flip my sprite, I can just leave these off actually, but that's okay. We can write that in, that's not gonna hurt anything. And now if we save and run, we have our ship in the middle of our screen. It's using sprite one. It's at 63 pixels over, 63 pixels down. It's one tile wide and one tile tall, and it's not flipped on X or Y. So if we flip this on Y like this, save, run, you see it's pointed down. So this is great for you know a character that you want to walk back and forth, or if you wanna flip an animation, that kind of thing. That's a great way to do it, really easy. You can also draw a bigger sprite. I can just roll down with my scroll wheel, and that'll zoom out my view here, and it'll also select four sprites like this. And I'll just draw a circle right now so that this doesn't take forever. And let's say this is my 16 by 16 sprite. The upper left tile of this sprite is sprite two. And so we can draw this. If we say sprite two right now like this, save, save run, we see just the corner of this and it's also flipped. But we can decide that we want this to be two by two instead of one by one, just by replacing these, save, run. And there we have our sprite drawn at 63, 63. It's sprite two and it's two tiles wide, two tiles tall. So that's really how you draw a sprite to the screen in Pico. And then if you want to add some interactivity or have things change, you can replace any of these with different variables, right? So let's switch back to sprite one and we could make a variable, let's just say um, PX for player X, that equals, let's say 20. And we can replace this with that variable PX, save run, and now it's over at 20. And during our update function, we could do something like PX equals PX plus one. 
every frame, save, run, and now this moves across the screen. Pretty cool, right? Pretty easy to draw a sprite to the screen. And uh, yeah, even just with this one little function, you're on your way to making a really cool game. Anyway, thanks for watching. Again, make sure to check out the links in the description for the free Pico 8 study guide PDF, as well as the Pico 8 Noob to Pro course. Hey, do you guys like videos like this just going into one little function, one little command like Sprite? We could do this for a lot of stuff. Let me know in the comments and we'll do more videos like this. I hope you have a wonderful day.